One of the challenges that I, I maybe said in the big room was like, just like when to shut, you gotta shut up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. like, they, like the, what I found is just I'm gonna tell them what the play is, remind them why we're calling the play, tell them what the play is. That's it. And let them do their deal. This is something Tyler Warren was telling me out in Indy, and I hadn't heard this before, but that you'd kind of had the guys stand up, or you've still been having them stand up in front of the team and say, hey, yeah. or in front of the offense, rather. Mm -hmm. Like, this is what we're doing. You're trying to make them be more vocal. Is that the Yeah, yeah. Is? Well, I just, and I think Coach Franklin will tell you this, too, part of our responsibility to them is to develop them beyond. Mm -hmm. I think it's, okay, we all remember being young. We all remember not being able to stand in front of a room, a group of people, mm -hmm. even amongst your peers, and, like, be able to say things. So, so one of our objectives in the spring, to your point, um, was we wanted to really try to, to develop our leaders, and so identify guys who, who have leadership potential and qualities. And then after every practice, we have what we call a we are and a we are not tape. And so the we are tape is big examples of great effort or physicality that are kind of winning behaviors. We are not obviously would be the opposite. So we have guys like Ty Warren. We'll have them stand up in front of the room and run that tape and say, here are these five plays of, of the examples of, you know, techniques or effort that are going to win us football games. And then here are hopefully very few, one or two that aren't going to win us football games. Those come from your practice? You're not showing like from Kansas or other? No, no, oh. they come from our, every after every practice okay. we reevaluate that. So, so, so it's them, right? So when Ty or Drew or whoever is standing up in front of the room, person he's talking about either a positive clip or a negative one is in the room with have you done that before yeah we started doing that you know i've done that at a place where i've coached but it, that's not super long but um i think what i've learned about developing leaders you need to empower them and giving them a voice or making them use a voice is one of the first things hey andy those skills what's unique about them the quarterback position and your philosophy on trying to work in well, well, I, I think fundamentally he had, you know, all the guys have to be passers, right? They all have to have the ability to throw the football well enough to be a Division One quarterback. And then there's this this spectrum or sliding scale. If you have your throwing slash arm talent, and you have this mobility slash foot talent, all right. Well, there's a threshold in each of those that we have to cross, right? So an ability to be able to throw a football, right, and be able to be mobile enough to do things, right? Okay, so well, the further up they are in the arm talent, right, in theory, the less they have to be mobile and vice versa. Is that, am I kind of making sense here a little bit right there? But there still has to be a threshold they have to cross. So Bo, Bo obviously has some elite athleticism, and you have to tap into that. And, I, you know, you get asked questions all the time about how do you utilize players, how do you do it. Well, you, if you have an elite athlete, you have them do athletic things, right? You know what I mean? And so I, I said this before, whatever we have to do, if our if, – we have eight O linemen that are going to help us win a football game and are good enough. We're going to find ways to put them on the field. What's he best at? Like Was Bo? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's he, like like he's really he's change of direction is elite for his position. His ability to change direction, his speed is really good. It's great. I don't know if it's elite, right? When I say elite, I'm talking about like guys who legitimately can run great track times. He's fast. He's really fast. He's one of our fastest skill players. But his change of direction for his position is elite. Probably top one percent. In what you just said right there about uh, being vocal, about understanding that that he can't wait to embrace that part of being the quarterback, and that's something that everyone kind of grows through to do. Um, you know, he's taken it upon himself to 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 meet with and spend time with receivers and other positions to grow and make sure they kind of see it. They're watching film together, and he's doing those things to um, you know to generate some connectivity, but also say, here's what I'm saying, you know, here's what we see, here's why we should do it this way. You, you're right, he's, he's collaborating with them. Um, and he needs to do that, and that's what a good quarterback should do. And he's, he's like, there's like no push to do that. You know what I mean? Like, you're not having to force him or kind of motivate him to go do those things because he's so uncomfortable. He's very comfortable doing it. He's motivated to do it, he's doing it. So that, that's very special. And then as a player, from the guy that you, know, you come in in the center and start you know, watching him the whole game to quarterback he is now, it's a huge difference, but is there anything that you've seen, you know, in terms of his growth there on the field? Well, I, I would tell you, you know, um, there are some things. I think, you know, there's a natural maturity and growth that occurs with any human at that age. I think his understanding of what we're doing and why we're doing as a football was already high to begin with, but there's natural growth there that's occurred. Um, I think a credit to him 
and Coach Losey and the strength staff, his, uh, his mobility right now, even for two practices, it was watching spring football, he's got just, so, like, so much more athletic, right, for, you know, for, for his position. And then he's continued to grow, like you would think, naturally through the, being a college football program, at least a good one, of, of his, his arm talent and what he's doing with his decision making. You know? What's explosive about him? What's explosive about yeah. Drew? Well, his ability to get the ball down the field, first of all, right? So the arm talent piece to be able to get it and, and get it to explosive players, right? So that that's typically what a quarterback would do that makes him explosive. But then his processing speed to be able to get that done quick enough that he can get that ball to that player to make it be explosive. How I mean, does, sorry, how, how does that processing speed show up now? maybe off the field when you guys are in meeting groups. Can you see that? Like that, that things are clicking for him up here? Like how does that? Well, I, I think, I, yeah, okay, that's a great question. So like when you're having interactions and you're having meetings and there's dialogue in the room, right, okay, and there's conversations, the kind of questions that are asked to you as the coach and the kind of questions you ask back are great ways to kind of check for a high level of understanding. And those are the, con like we're having conversations with him and Bo that are really high level. You, fuck, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So like, so like, that right there tells you there's an understanding, and then there's a then there's some film that you're watching film, and you're going, okay, what was this? I saw this. This is it, like, like, right? You know what I mean? Like to be able to kind of rehearse and recite exactly what was happening, right? And then now, and then when you're wrong, right? Like to see it, recognize it, and grow from it. You know? Have you watched Kansas film with him or other stops film that you've done previously with Drew with Bo? <laughs> Oh, and like other, other, that, other maybe well, plays yeah, or schemes or things that we've done. Grade you. Yeah, sure. Like we, you know, maybe plays or schemes that we've implemented that we use it as a teach tape. You know, I mean, like, like we'll watch them. We'll watch anyone that we're stealing plays from. You know what I mean? We'll watch NFL film. Like, like we'll, I think part of our job, and Daniel Bryan does a great job of this, of like using model performances. What we want it to look like and what he can look like. Like, Danny's like a, a film dork, and so he's just grabbing film from all these different spots. Like, oh, here's look. This is our, you know, whatever play he's doing this. You know what I mean? Like, like. We're always looking for model performances to show them, right? Right, of all different types of people. Do you let them grade you? The quarterbacks in particular. Grade me? Yeah. I, I seek feedback. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. know if they give me a grade and say, eh, well, you know, kind of more of a B minus, you know, than okay, a C plus. Yeah. But, but I always say, like, I, I was yeah, matter of fact, Coach Higgins was having with the receivers. I think this is, this is healthy uh, relationships with, with the people you're coaching. Like, what, like, what more do you need from me? Did I explain this the right way? I think uh, if I make a mistake, I'm like, hey, I, I effed this up. You know what I mean? I should have said this to you. You know what I mean? Or made this tag in the play or whatever it might be. Um, I think that's just part of having a good relationship with people. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You touched on it a little bit. What is some of that feedback they've been able to provide for you, Drew Rambo? Uh, hey, Bo, what would be some <laughs> of the feedback that you've given me other than my looks, smile, and sense of humor, charm and wit? Um, I don't know. I, pretty much just all the ones you hit on. Yeah, so that's the kind of <laughs> feedback it. I typically get from them. Yeah, um, looks looks are a big one. Yeah, no, but yeah, in all seriousness, like, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I can't think of anything specific. But, like, if they're uncomfortable yeah. with something, Coach, explain this to me again. I, don't, I always want it to be in a, in a healthy enough spot with all of our players that they're like, they, they, can, they can say, I don't quite get why this. And I think I, what I've tried to really change or evolve as a teacher through the years is on the front end, try to really explain why we do things and hopefully can proactively answer that question for them at the gate. What's the most obscure place you've taken a play from? Obscure, obscure. Mm. A small high school, and I think it's either in Kansas or Missouri. Do you know what high school is? Uh -uh. What was the play? I don't want to tell you. Is this something you saw live or you? No, we saw it on a recruiting phone. Yeah, saw it on a recruiting phone. That's kind of cool. We stole it. It's a unique formation. That's good. Call, yeah, call it bobsled. Just in some of your interactions with Drew and Bo, obviously, right there, how quickly did you guys develop such a great rapport and how has it continued to develop? Uh, I, well, I mean, I don't know. I think it's like any relationship. You know what I mean? Like, I think if you have, you know, similar goals, you have at least somebody, and I think this is probably the responsibility of adults to make sure that they understand um, what vulnerability looks like, I guess, a little bit, just to kind of be real and authentic, I think opens the door for communication, make sure they understand it's a two-way deal. 
Um, you know, I think those things kind of happen naturally with just humans, but I think the first thing is to kind of have a shared goal and vision of wanting to grow and be better and, you know what I mean, and be the change, right, in the program, starting there. And then everyone kind of embody, and I don't think anyone would be in this program if they didn't because yeah. of how Coach Franklin, you know, wants to run it from a staff to a player standpoint, for everyone to embody the idea of daily improvement. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, like, if sense. I can go in and say I don't have all the answers all the time, which I don't, and they can say that, you know what I mean, that they're going to be open and willing to learn. Um, I think right there, you should just, it, it's pretty easy, regardless of how different or similar you might be with a person. If you had those shared goals, you're open and honest and authentic, and you, you have a growth mindset, you should be able to get along with about anybody, you know what I mean? But they're fun. From just from a standpoint, like the, like the quarterback, like I, I really enjoy our offensive room as a whole. Like they're, we have good players. Been the same with the wide receivers, they're tight ends, O-line. Oh, yeah, that's a blast. They're all good dudes. They're a lot of fun. James said, uh, 